Hey okay guys, so I am finally gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so it's been a while since I made a prepping video and I'm just gonna share with you what's been happening. Okay, so I made a video review of this movie from Netflix, Leave the World Behind. Uh, others have done it also. Um, I, I did it in my other channel, my Filipino channel, but... Uh, after posting my video review of Leave the World Behind, uh, I found out that there's another movie coming out. It's the Civil War A24. So are, are they related? Is that the sequel or is that the prequel? We don't know. So first, let's check out the Leave the World Behind. If you haven't watched this uh, movie from Netflix... Uh, there's going to be a uh, few spoilers, so let's just start. I went online this morning and I rented us a beautiful house out by the... Okay, Julia Roberts, uh, um, Ethan Hawke. Uh, for me, I think the, the story is dragging. The camera is always on Julia Roberts or Ethan Hawke. Beach. I figured if I made... Beach. So they rented an Airbnb, which coincidentally is the name of the movie, Leave the World Behind. Uh, I hate that kind of uh, 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 dialogue wherein they mention the name of the movie. Okay, what else? Uh, yeah, they met this uh, gentleman. And his daughter, who happened to be the who happens to be the owner of the house, and I don't like the character of the guy. He acts mysterious. He he acts as if he's involved in what's happening, but he's not. He's just rich. Okay. What else? Uh, Okay, so in the movie, they said that uh, there was a cyber attack in the U.S. So the grid is down, no phones, no power in the city. We are seeing ongoing cyber attacks across the country. Okay, what else? And um, they went to... Yeah, okay. I don't believe they, can't, they went to Kevin Bacon because Julia Roberts remembered that when she was at the grocery, she saw Kevin Bacon stocking up. So she assumed that Kevin Bacon is a prepper and knows something that they don't know. So when they had a problem with uh, her son and they need medicine... Okay, they knock. They knock on the door of a prepper who <laughs> who went out like this. Do anything to protect my family. Okay, okay, uh, okay, and it also exposed the the vulnerability of Tesla. So that's what you get when you buy automated cars. Okay, they drive by themselves. So what if somebody controlling them are the bad guys? So those, those Tesla cars were used to jam up the road. And uh, this part, they use a frequency. Okay, so I don't know if that is uh, when they weaponized a 5G frequency. Okay, what else, what else? Um, yeah, just uh, watch the movie. So, my take on the movie, hold on, as with others saying that it is full of messages. So, example on this uh, scene, obey NASA. Is it coincidence? Why didn't this girl stood on the right side of this boy? So they have to really be on this position. So that you can clearly see 
obey NASA. I don't know. So uh, a lot of people are saying that there are a lot of cryptic messages in this movie. I don't know if it's for us ordinary people or for the elites to stock up, to buy or build a bunker, to buy a sat phone. And uh, the black guy also explained what a satellite phone is. He said that even though everything is down, a satellite phone will still work if there is a satellite. But the sat phone didn't work, so it means even the satellites are gone. Okay, what else? Um, yeah, leave the world behind. And then, like I said, after watching that movie, somebody tagged me on this movie. Coming up next year, Civil War. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the... Western forces. Okay, who are these forces? Florida Alliance. Florida Alliance. So, individual states. I think 12 states separated from the United States. Let me know if you want to try anything. And Americans are fighting Americans. And this girl said that they just want to get out of the way. I'm just aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. So it's Americans versus Americans. So, by the way, that is Don Pablo Escobar. He lost a lot of weight. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? I think this is the uh, most scary... Uh, this is the scariest part of the trailer. Okay. We are American, okay? Yeah, we are Americans. And what did he say? Okay. What kind of American are you? What kind of American? So, Americans versus Americans. So, uh, this is supposed to come out spring 2024. Okay. Um, have you guys researched the definition of predictive programming? Okay. It's a long-running long -running conspiracy theory that claims powerful Hollywood elites are using the media to program the populace. The idea that at the behest of the Illuminati or some such, Hollywood makes films like Civil War to normalize the idea of conflict between the states. So this is a new definition. This, this is new. Uh, probably a few days old. Uh, look at this. That's Obama's Netflix. Oh, by the way, I didn't know that the Obamas uh, are the producer of the movie Leave the World Behind. When I watched it, uh, I, I came with an open mind. Cause I, I, I was actually excited because I thought it was... Uh, well, it is a prepping movie to prep you for something that's coming. And I didn't know that the Obamas produced it. So what... Uh, is an ex-president uh, doing with movie making? Does he know something we don't know? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so there you go. I don't want to sound the alarm, but like what others said, you know, uh, it's full of... Uh, messages both movies and is it coincidence that you know one came uh and then the other is just around the corner and in the movie at the ending of leave the world behind the scene was uh the scene is in new york and there's a bomb exploded and uh, yeah, civil war is going on. So I, I think uh, Kevin Bacon said, we don't know. Uh, yeah, Kevin Bacon said it's the Koreans, but the other character said, oh, it's uh, uh, Arabic or people from the Middle East. So we don't know who's attacking us or even the threat is from within. So 
I don't know. I don't like I said. I don't want to sound the alarm, but like my channel says, I've been a prepper um, for so many years. And uh, actually, when I watched this movie, I got bored. La uh, leave the world behind. While others got scared, I got bored because for me, it's dragging. Uh, they did not show who are the enemies, and uh, there's a lot of questions and they just stopped at the end where they showed a bunker okay so as a long time prepper i think uh this is what we've been prepping for okay nothing new but the question is are they giving us clues breadcrumbs of things to come so let me know what you think guys Thanks for watching.